Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how I installed this wood stove in our single wide mobile home. The previous video I did on this setup was the hearth that I made. And so that's a separate video. And at the end of this video, I'll explain what it cost me to build and install this whole setup. And I'll also leave links down below in the show notes of everything here. So let's get started. After we decided the location of the wood stove, I hung a string with a weight at the bottom and this gave me a center point to work off of so that way the chimney pipe will be as straight as possible when going up into the ceiling. Before I drilled the hole of the center of the pipe, I used a stud finder to figure out where my studs were. I needed the pipe to go between the studs so I did not want to have a stud in the way because then I would have to saw it out. So the pipe is basically going in between the studs inside the ceiling. After I got my center point, I marked out from the center out because I'm gonna be putting in a box that goes right into the ceiling. Here I'm using a drywall saw. It's a little bit less messy than using an electric saw. And because it is a mobile home, there is no crawl spaces in the ceiling. I drilled holes in the, each of the corners, so that way I know directly where to cut. And then I got on top of the roof, used my jigsaw to cut out the square. Because we're putting an actual box into the ceiling where the chimney pipe is going through, we needed something for the box to drill into. I needed to frame out the inside portion of the ceiling. I just framed out around the square that I cut. This is the firebox that's going inside the ceiling. I am measuring the distance, the inside ceiling versus the roof and measuring how tall that is because we need to cut this firebox to a shorter length. I started using tin snips for this, but then I realized I should just use my electric saw. This portion of the install was definitely the hardest part of the entire project. It was good to have Lorraine to help me on this. I recommend two people at least. <laughs> you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. <laughs> I got my glasses on. <laughs> I just gotta keep my mouth closed so things don't fall in it. <laughs> the box fit in nice and snug, but then you needed someone in the house to make sure the box was straight because there was an angle on the ceiling and then I had to reach in there around the pipe to drill into that framing that I built and that's what you're drilling the box into as I was shifting it around I realized that I could just take that pipe off and that made everything more easier After I screwed in the box, and then I put that pipe back on, then I'm using a flashing sealer to help waterproof the flashing I'm installing. I had to lift up part of the shingles so that way I could slip the flashing underneath them and then drill the flashing to the roof using watertight screws.
this part was pretty straightforward on the directions I was reading. Attaching to the pipe to another pipe is actually really easy. It just kind of clicks in. You can turn it and it clicks in. I didn't get it on video, but I went back after I installed everything. I added an extension to the chimney because I felt like it didn't get enough airflow. And then I also put two brackets to help just to keep it more secure. Resealed everything, made sure that everything was leak proof. Now the connector to connect the inside ceiling pipe with the ceiling, the kit came with this. So it sits like that and then the pipe comes in and covers this. But I didn't think it, it didn't look right. It, I don't think it fit the pipe that I bought. And so I ended up buying this, which this is specifically for double wall. And I think that other one is for single wall pipe. So this is for the double wall and then it fits inside of here. So that way you could put a screw in to hold it in place. And then you screw this in the box in the ceiling. So I think this just looks a lot nicer and finished. We actually bought a mobile home kit and it had all these pipes. It had the flashing, but it did not come with everything. It did not come with this pipe inside the house. So this pipe that I bought is a telescoping pipe, which you can move it up and down like a telescope. Here I put a level on the pipe after we installed it up in the ceiling to make sure everything was level and straight. This wood stove did come with an electric fan and this is just screwed in in the back. Forgive me, I don't know proper lingo <laughs> when it comes to wood stoves because I'm a wood stove newbie and I'm still learning the proper lingo. Now for the air that goes from underneath directly outside. The directions say we needed some kind of airspace to go from the wood stove to outside. This pipe is actually a dryer vent pipes that I put together and made my own vent that goes to the outside. To make it easier to install, I used this heavy duty duct tape to wrap the pipe around. Now that hole that is in the wall, I intend on covering that somehow, and I'll do that at another time. The pipe I used is all triple wall and double wall. Because it's double wall, the inside pipe that's in the house, you could actually touch it and it feels warm, but it's not super hot at all. Now the cost for the wood stove, the piping, all cost me about $1,200. So with all that, plus the pad here that I made, you're looking at about $1,300 to make the, this entire setup. That's what it cost us. Now the wood stove that we used is called an Englander. It's from Home Depot. I will leave a link to everything down below in the show notes so you can check out for yourself. Now this particular wood stove is for a mobile home. I learned that not all wood stoves are rated for mobile homes. The coverage on this, it says about 1,200 square feet, and we're at like 1,000 square feet here. And also, I was concerned with the wood stove being kind of close to the records. This has been going all day long, and there's no heat. You know, I'm filling on the these records, and I'm not feeling no heat, which is awesome. 
on the wall, there's no heat back here. Um, so I'm not concerned that it's going to be too heated back here or even around. So I'm very happy about that. Now, if you're looking to do something like this in your mobile home or even just your home, I always suggest doing the research yourself. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Read directions. <laughs> That's basically all I did. I'm just sharing my experience on installing this. We asked friends and neighbors who had experience with a wood stove, being that we've never had wood heat in a home before that, that, we, that we lived in. A huge thank you to a local company here in North Carolina called Black Mountain Stove and Chimney. I will put a link down to their website down below. They, they were a huge help. Installing this whole setup was not easy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm happy to show you my experience installing this wood stove. The only thing left to do now is I need to figure out how to actually use it. <laughs> how to maintain the fire, you know, what kind of wood we need now. So that's a whole other thing. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching. My name is Jason from Sow the Land. And I think we need more wood. <laughs> Thanks for watching.